Hi guys, I had some interesting Kasharski news come across my desk here at the uh, CGC studios today. Some of the diehard Kasharski fans might remember back in June of 2020 when Aaron had set up his flea market booth at the uh, Oldsmar flea market. He had an incident where somebody called in to the management of the flea market and issued some sort of threat. At least that's the story that Aaron gave us at the time. At the time, I was working hard on exposing the fact that Laurel had sex with his cousin Danny, and I had been telling people that I had a big plan uh, coming for Aaron. It was going to be a bombshell, and he was going to really uh, not be happy about it. And right the following day is when this happened at the flea market, and I think everybody thought that I was uh, the person that did that. So I ended up releasing this stupid little gay video here. I'll, I'll, sh I'll let it play where I just reassuring people that I wasn't the one that uh, did that. I, did, I had no idea who actually did that at the time. Uh, if you've seen his Oldsmar live stream this morning, you've seen it got cut short. If you look down in the chat there, you'll see his mother came in and said Aaron had to get back to the booth. Turns out uh, someone was doing a bunch of calls last night to the flea market saying that uh, I'm not sure exactly what the wording was. It basically, they were threatening the staff of Oldsmar, and they were showing uh, old video clips of Aaron, uh, like the one where he threw the keys at his mother and stuff like that, basically saying Aaron is a menace. Oh, actually, they were pretending to be Aaron. That's what it was. And uh, But they were showing all these old clips and stuff like that and basically being assholes to the people at Oldsmar. I learned all this uh, in a Hangouts chat with Aaron right after the video ended because we were asking him what was going on, why was the management uh, wanting to speak to him. So the owner came in and uh, basically threatened him, said that he was going to kick him out if this continued. doesn't really want him filming there anymore. And that was basically the gist of that video. It was just uh, I wanted people to know it wasn't me. And it turns out Aaron's story was not accurate at all. I had someone uh, contact me. In fact, you... Uh, might know him he goes by the uh, infamous number 12 he's the guy who always used to uh, ask mama k to show her titties and stuff like that i get all butt hurt about it man come on mama k take off your clothes no apparently the week before that he had uh, obtained uh, laurel's family's address and was blasting it all over the internet and the night before this happened at oldsmar he called up aaron and used a robot voice and uh, basically just repeated her address over and over again. 5314 Seminole Boulevard, St. Petersburg, Florida. 5314 Seminole Boulevard, St. Petersburg, Florida. 5314 Seminole Boulevard, St. Petersburg, Florida. And the funny part is what Aaron did. I, I can't even picture this. It's, it's so hilarious picturing this. He got all angry and he, he started yelling into the phone, uh, just give me a name, give me a name. I'll make a phone call and have you erased. Uh, can you picture Aaron doing that and trying to be intimidating? That's one of the most uh, hilarious things I can ever imagine. So sort of in uh, revenge for Aaron's bravado there, he called the flea market the following day and told them that uh, Aaron uh, makes some work for him for free and that if he didn't, he would beat him. And, and apparently the owner of the flea market said he should call the police. Uh, and he responded back, he's coming back, I, I gotta hide. So that is what got Aaron kicked out of the flea market there, or made him stop filming there. I'm just laughing because I'm picturing Aaron sitting there. Well, give me your name! Just give me your name! I'll make you disappear! 